I know you're going to dig this. Dig this. Fans of public access cable television, here's a story for you. Ross Reynolds has more. At the dawn of the cable television era in the 1980s, the federal government gave local authorities the ability to regulate cable companies. And a movement began to require those cable companies to provide public access to cable TV channels. And Seattle was a hotbed of the movement. My name is Georgia Brown. For the last 25 years, I've been documenting the evolution of Seattle's hip hop scene. I started a show called The Cool Out Network back in the 90s, and it was a public access show that let me showcase the people that I was filming and seeing in the town. Before we had the internet and we had YouTube, and we had all of the easy access uh, to hip hop on our phones. The only way you'd be able to see hip hop is if you tuned into BET, MTV, or one of the other cable locally produced programs. Making this film is like jumping out of a plane. As I fly over the city, I'm thinking about all of the dope people that I've met. So I want to take you on a journey with me through some of the history of the town and show you what happened back in the day when Cool Out hit Seattle. Live video show to you. It's gonna be funky. It's gonna be fresh. Call the Cool Out Network video on BJD. My man Giorgio behind the scene. That's who's talking to you right now. What's up, Seattle? Okay, these kids right here. What's that called, man? These kids right here. They part of the Cool Out Network too. This is AJ. That's Smooth Rick B. I remember the first time I met Giorgio in Renton. Um, him and VJD were walking, me and him had met and we were talking, him and VJD were walking around and but I remember I told you I had a crew. You were like, really? He's like, man, well, you know, I'm putting together this show, man. I got a video camera, man. I want to get some footage of you and your crew. I was like, well, meet me at the basketball court. Yo, we about to break them outside proper. Check it out. Check it out. They call me Ozrock, that's my name, and that's my game. Hey. You ask me to tell you again, and I'll tell you the same. I do it like this, huh? I do it like that. And if you try to test me, I pull up my... And Georgia was just all over it with the camera. It was funny. I don't sell soup. I like to eat Fruit Loops here with my troop. Chilling in the Coupe de Ville. I get uh -huh. ill. You need to chill. My name is Ozrock, but I was born in Mills. But what? don't tell no one. So keep it a secret. I got a style. Look, <laughs> peep it. Check me out. I'm on the cool out. Rock it. I remember uh, when I met Giorgio and uh, VJD. Said they were an outlet to show the world what you were doing, and they did a good job at it. The earliest memory of the Cool Out Network is when it came on, and you'd see that little drawing or whatever with the shades on, and you'd hear, I don't know who it was, but it'd be like, VJG and Giorgio, VJG. <laughs> the whole song it was that. One, two, three. Yo, people, what's up? Welcome back. I'm VJD and my man Giorgio. We still here hanging out with Greg B and some of the fellas in the back here. Tell me, what is this big thing standing in back of your head? I showed him the trophy that I won for that DJ contest I showed you, and the trophy was taller than me. And he was like, hey, you know, show me some stuff, man. You know, show me some stuff. You know, you got that East Coast accent. You'll show me some stuff. And I was like, man, you know, I'm already nervous, but I started getting off, going through my legs and stuff. And, you know, I was a, you know, you might think I'm skinny now, man. I was a stick back then. Nothing. Body was about as big as my finger. So I'm just going all like this and going through the legs and blah, blah, blah. And I thought I did all right, you know. But when you see it on TV, with, after Giorgio, you know, introduces you and whatever, man, it looked tight. Life ain't nothing but girls and money. Life ain't nothing but girls and money. Money, 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 money
money, 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 money. And don't forget, he getting a chance to get some coverage because he down with the Cool Out Network on this show. So y'all check it out. Y'all watch the show. And we'll, and we'll give y'all a chance to get on too. Oh yeah, sure, you guys make it look easy to be on camera, but I, I tend to freak out a little bit. Of course, I'm getting a little dizzy now too. Hey, what's up? It's Shelly Hart from Cube 93, and I want to say peace. You got me dizzy to the Cool Out Network. Yo, Giorgio, kick it, baby. The Cool Out Network was just all over documenting what's, what was happening in Seattle. And I think that helped fuel a lot of people's ambitions because, just, I don't know, every little victory helps. When you're able to see yourself on, on TV every now and again or whatever, that helps you realize why you do it as far as, like, you know, I don't know, just give you the extra energy. And since the cast ain't just getting signed left and right, you're like, yeah, but the homies can see that I did this. And so, you know, Giorgio provided that outlet. He was always at all the shows, man, the Langston Hughes joints. And then I remember seeing this show. I do remember um, seeing the Cool Out Network, though. I do remember it's when I first got cable, you know? <laughs> I had the little public access and shit. Like. The sound booth, the mic's not working, the sound man's jerking me off right about now, but that's again, I don't have to count, I stay calm. I know my show's the bomb, I don't feel the bomb, I got the mic in my palm. They love the verbal tax, that's my antics, flip like gymnastics, coming with more formulas than mathematics. The addicts continue to flock on my job, but I stare away like Albert Hitchcock. Microphone, some all the cues of micro. Review my cerebellum, the brainiac cycle. My brain will flip, microchips and this. So I ease my mind as I spit from my sick. I remember being on the block and seeing my boys hold out, my boys roll out the refrigerator box, the old refrigerator box, and have it out like laid up on the corner with the boom box, and they would be breaking, you know, like every day under the street lights. I'm the only girl in the cipher, you know, but like. I'm not really thinking about my gender in my moment of rapping. I'm thinking about the fact that I'm a rapper, you know? And I'm, you know, we're rapping, we're rapping. I mean, I mean, I talk about being a woman sometimes if it comes up subconsciously for me, but I don't need to blow up the spot. You know I'm a chick. I, don't, I mean, you know, I, I'll talk about it if I feel it, but I'm really just rapping right now, you know? And so we're in the cypher, we're rapping, we're going back and forth and the blasphemy comes out. The most blasphemous line ever. Dang, she could rap pretty good for a girl. I was like, dog, what? For a girl, man. I rap good for the world, man. I rap good for everybody, for anybody, all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't rap good, I rap well. How about that? <laughs> This is merely the epilogue of an epidemic. Nothing but gimmicks. Give me, give me your money to let me send me emails and facsimiles and wax for whack. Give me she's mimicking, sickening and thickening like smoking my, my skull. But got a freestyle verse to make it void and no at the bowl. I'm seeing audio poet and you know it. And just a little verse to show it. Me and VJD was everywhere. We was in the community centers. We was in the parks. We was in the schools. He was in the clubs. Every place that had hip hop vibing, we wanted to go cover it. This night changed everything. Peace to Georgia on the cool out network. <laughs> One night I got a call from Mike Clark telling me that there was this young lady coming to town. She was for the record company called Uptown MCA. She was on her way to LA to film um, her music video. She decided to stop in Seattle to come and just do a promotional tour. Tells me her name is Mary J. Blige. Didn't quite know who she was yet. 
because you know it was the early 90s she's not the name that she is today I got a chance to go down there and capture for the first time ever in Seattle Mary's like killing the crowd right and then all of a sudden I just I wanted to go up there with her now as I'm going up the stairs it's funny because I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this or not but I was just going with the feel and I wanted to come and film her so that's what I did so as I'm filming this like you can imagine me I'm on stage I'm wearing this long white bomber coat that has cool out network on the back so I'm up on stage right now with Mary J Blige and the town is seeing I'm on the stage with Mary J Blige I actually think that that's part of the catalyst that helped cool out network blow up in the city because they was wondering who is this dude up on stage with Mary as she blew up cool out was a part of the memory of her coming here for the very first time this is classic cool out Check it out now, this is Milo in the dance, the new identity. Pour it up, this bust the rhymes, lyrical monster. This is the D to the O in the middle, I N C. And add another D. As you can see in the place to be, the original baby Paul, Charlie B, for 93. The name of the album is T-I-M-E. Pour it up. Yeah, time. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Check it out. We on the Cool Out Network. That's right. Cool Chilling. Out. Chilly Maxing most from Chilling coast out. to coast. Cooling out. Executives Maxing most chills in charge. Yo, GL. Kick out. that joint. Time to each other and not only each other. Do the right thing. Educate our children. Do the right thing. End sex discrimination. Do the right thing. End race discrimination. Do the right thing. Free South Africa, do the right thing. Stop the poor drugs, do the right thing. Pay the workers, do the right thing. House the homeless, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. <laughs> I'm not going to tell falsehoods to the American people. I'll leave that to others. This can happen within a matter of seconds. They have 20 megaton bombs in Russia right now that can destroy a city as big as New York in three seconds with everybody wiped away and everything. And we can do the same thing to Russia and China. But this is why we are drifting, and we are drifting back. State Representative Jesse Wyberry, how you doing? Oh, hi, how are you? I'm just reading the Cool Out Network here. <laughs> Have you read this? Yes, I've read that. It's quite a fact sheet. I mean, they do a lot. You know, they focus on rap, R&B. It's kind of like a, 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 they take you behind the scenes so you can see what's happening really, you know, in the streets of Seattle with the young people, with tomorrow's generation. Cool Out Network is definitely in the house. Big old Cool Out. Word up, Sam. Yo, I got to send it out to my man, Kind of Love. I gotta send it out to my boys at Preston's. Word up. I gotta send it out to Blind Council. I gotta send it out to all the fars in the house. And yo, 22nd Precinct, Ghetto Children, Silver Shadow, we all in here. Everybody that's down with hip hop, put four fingers in the air. We gonna keep our hands in the air on this one. To watch a young person just take something and it sparks something and then watch them grow with it. That's the most beautiful thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? And no matter if they remember your name when somebody asks them a question on camera, well, who was the cat? They'll remember that feeling. I mean, it was good stuff, Kobo, though, definitely. And what's funny is, like, nowadays, I appreciate it way more nowadays. If I go back and I hear Seven Rainier or some early mix a lot. I mean, everything's changed with internet, media. Everything's available nowadays. Back then, hardly nothing was available. You had to really go out 
and find it. And good luck finding any rap music around here. Because if you recall, you could go in the store. They didn't have a rap section. They didn't know what that was. I used to live on Whitby Island, so I used to listen to K Fox. I used to listen to Fresh Tracks, and um, that was like where I heard like a lot of hip hop records first. I remember buying uh, like a mix a lot record like the day the Beastie Boys came out. Mm -hmm. and, and so I always had that right. Seattle it's connection. Nobody's been doing hip hop in Seattle longer than Specs. And it's still raw. I just, just saw him about a month ago. He's been Johnson. doing hip hop since like, and that's the thing, you know, like, Mid eights. When I, you know, because I used to see that guy walk down the street and be like, man, who is this dude, man? Like this mountain Rastafarian dude and shit, just walking around and shit. And when I actually met him and sat down with him, I'm like, man, this dude's deep, you know what I'm saying? We built on a lot of levels, like about hip hop. 93 was a very beautiful time in Seattle, in Seattle hip hop and everything. And then this is just the type of stuff I was doing at the time, which I think captures just like the fluidity of the time too, because it's just like so loose. And it's like, I don't know. It's some of my most inspired work, I think, was 93. I was doing a lot of like, actually, that's a 93 piece right there. 1993. Cool Out, I mean, and more so just Giorgio, you know what I mean? It's like, when, I, when you say Cool Out, I think, jo right away, I just think Giorgio. I met Giorgio, I don't know if he was just getting here or what, but he's like, a, he just came over to me and my dude, Tracy. We're just, you know what I mean? It's like we just got sucked together magnetically and he just starts talking, oh man, he's like, you guys look cool on camera. He's like doing this at us and stuff, you know what I mean? We didn't even know who Giorgio was yet, you know what I mean? It's just like, and so the cool out part of it actually came af after that, you know what I mean? It's like, and you know, I didn't, I don't have a, I wasn't big on the cable and watching TV, so I'm not a TV dude, so I didn't actually see a lot of that. I remember being involved in it when we were, you know I mean, on there. And it's like, so far as I know, Giorgio is, is a guy that's like, he's got his, I don't know, it's like that eyeball that's just like peering through to everything and catching everything as it's going by, absorbing it, keeping it for a rainy day, you know what I mean, to just drop on people, you know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's what Giorgio is to me, you know, that's what he contributes to, this, to the whole scene, you know what I mean? He's been here for like solid for mad years doing it. People know of me of, of just being this, you know, this true school, you know, MC, you know, from Seattle. Uh, that, that came from Cool Out Network, uh, uh, hands down. One day I was walking, just if you allow me to tell this story real quick, I was on First Avenue and I was getting ready to catch the bus. And these two dudes stopped me and they had New York accents. And they were like, kid, kid, is your, hey, kid, ain't your name Silver Shadow? Aren't you Silver Shadow, yo? And then I was like, yeah, and I was kind of apprehensive just by the way they were stopping me. It was just kind of, man, aren't you Silver Shadow, yo? And I'm like, I'm thinking in my mind, what did I do? Did I do something to somebody, you know? And I was like, yeah, I'm Silver Shadow. And I was like, yeah, man, this is dude I was telling you about, yo. Uh, man, Cool Out TV, right? Giorgio Brown, Cool Out TV. Yo, son, we watch you on public access back home, yo. Da, 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 da. Been watching you for years, man. I've been telling you about this kid, man. He's nice. Man, big up, man. Keep doing your thing, man. You still doing your thing? Where can we see you? Like that. 
Microphone check suckers Like Teddy and Jimmy I got hit on more Jam this smucker Stay up like truckers With my insomniac sack More iller than an addict With a baseball bat Trying to cop a sack I'm busting kneecaps And don't just getting split I'm not trying to take a hit I'm trying to make a hit And making moves From these fashion models MCs writing rhymes From the runway And Alize bottles On my B-boys Becoming extinct I don't know Let me think I seen them walking Like this shit don't stink Sporting the me Does it tell you anything About the metaphors And tactics coming Straight up out of my mouth I'm like a mountain At an after I summit, I peek at my gym and I style. I got 1200 techniques to freak on the regular. I'm reaching out to you like satellites, cellulars, dead batteries, no facsimiles. I'm that hard copy, and ICBM couldn't stop me. And if you was a brim on my rock, you couldn't top me, suckers. I was catching myself on TV late night in Seattle in my bed posted. Like, this guy is tripping, man. This guy got me on TV, man. So I was beefing. I remember wanting to call you like, dog, take me take off me TV, TV, dog. <laughs> That's my show, dog. I'm... I grab my crotch. What's your name, son? Name, son. None master. Offer me one. Loud laughter. Where you working? I say smoking. And getting your eyeballs off my money making. Black chill. My conscience say ill thought. Get the range look, now I'm barefoot. But you know, like, it was always somebody around me that would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you on TV, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? So that, that my earliest record, I don't have a date. I just remember always coming, wanting to come to you and be like, man, good look that you even, st you know, stand there and film a cat, keep the film, edit it, boom, shoot it out. Like that's, cat, we don't even do that with our own music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, so Giorgio been doing that for years. And it, you know, it's, it's a good way if you're an undercover cat, you want to watch your set, you can watch Cool Out. For all of y'all ears, Seattle, Washington, get it done. Rain, sun, or shine, we all divine. Check the music, and we're gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the place. I'm going to say my debit type of hammer. We didn't really have. Um, uh, we didn't, obviously, in Seattle in, in, in 92, there wasn't really a pre-existing template, you know, a path, a blueprint that you could follow to say, this is how you record a record. This is a label that's downtown that you can go speak to about a and r a record. This is a, a, a publicity company. This is people that do management. You know, we did not have none of that. Family and, and a vision, you know, and, and, and that's really what we, uh, what, what guided us and what fueled us, and then also the camaraderie between the other people along that path that we would meet, you know. So that's when, you know, I met, you know, uh, you know, vitamin D, you know what I mean? That's when I met, you know, B Self, you know, that's when I met. You know, Top Spin and Native Son and Jace and Black and Be Mellow and you and, 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 and everybody, you know, was in those formative years of the early 90s, you know. And then that was, for me, that was the, 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 the coalescing and the genesis of what became a scene. <laughs> The, the craziest, most inspirational artists that I've ever met have been from Seattle. And so many people may never know about them, you know? And that's why something like, you know, this film is so important because it gives people just a glimpse and an understanding of a reality that exists beyond, you know, something that's not real. You know, like these are people's stories and it's like, you can't make this shit up. I like the ability to showcase people how uh, special that they are.
you know, in the sake of their talent and what they do and what they have to say. Local artists don't get people saying how good they are enough. They need more people giving that positive affirmation in order to help facilitate their growth. I mean, when you tell an artist that you like what they do, that's like putting fuel in a car. I had no idea where any of these people were going to go that I was filming them. All I know is that I saw something special in them. Let me show you what everyone else sees. Let me show you that you have the ability to do great things. Let me show you what you may not see in yourself, but others see in you. So then you can take that fuel and go far. Yo. No stress, safe sex every time on mine. Treat the beat like a freak, make a ski every time. Ready, run on the beat, so I'ma beat just fine. Y'all really messed up, we ain't even reached prime. Optimists hella pissed, cause we still made moves. I told y'all from jump, I don't move like you. On a mission dividend, and while I'm plotting this fool, God bless me with a gift, so I'ma use my tool. Now, may, may I, I kick a little something for the G and, and make a few moves with these trees? Damn, gotta pay a few bills. Uber ain't really cutting it, the struggle is real. Sometimes I feel like life tries its best to keep you down. When you know what you're fighting for, you stand your ground. No such thing is giving up when you holding the crown. And you know who got your back, cause ain't nobody around. Now that's some shit, wait till you really get on. They gon' swarm you like bees trying to taste the honey Claim it on my alchemy, dreams to reality You looking at me now, I'm looking where I'm about to be Claim it on my alchemy, dreams uh -huh. to reality You looking at me now, I'm looking where I'm about to be Claim it on my alchemy, dreams to reality You looking at me now, I'm looking where uh -huh. I'm about to be Claim it on my alchemy, dreams to uh -huh. reality You looking at me now, I'm looking where I'm about to be